everybody and welcome back. My name is Sue and I'm from OML Embroidery and over on the computer is the man behind the curtain. What was his name again? Oh yeah. Oz. <laughs> the almighty Dawes. Oz. What? Dawes. Dawes. Don Oz. Maybe. Or Zon. <laughs> Zod. <laughs> Yeah, it's been a long Hello. day. <laughs> it's been Hello, a long everyone. day. Hello. Hi, Sue, says Misha. Yeah, I'm just being silly because, because I can, for sure. So, everyone, give the video uh, a like, thumbs up. It happens to make a huge difference. So, every time you hit the like button, it helps the channel out, believe it or not and share even if it's on your personal timeline on facebook or you could save it all that helps too <coughs> excuse me coughing a little bit it's dry in this house so uh let's do a project chat first i want to show you guys i finished the um bowl cozy and i top stitched it and top stitched everything closed and I love it. A lot I love. Of people did them and posted it. I They're know. Fantastic. I know. Eileen Roche is gonna love it. I am really happy with this. I, I just think it's a, a cute size, and it was sure fun to do. This is a, a lot of stitching, but I notice a lot of people put different things in it. So cool. I'm really happy. On to today's stuff. We are going to do this mug rug now what this mug rug is supposed to be is an old-fashioned wood carved button that's what it's so the hearts are carved out so that's why this looks you know it's thick wood Seems buttons it's three yeah kind of um they, yeah so i just thought that would be fun now it doesn't have to be a wood button. You can use whatever fabric you want on it. You can, there's two designs in this design pack. One is just the outline and one fills in the hearts and they're set to do two different colors on the hearts. So head on over to omlembroidery.com and this is where you can get this design. So I pulled out some wood fabric. now. It's the same as this one, but it's a little bit lighter, and I thought that's really cute, but I am going to use this. I found this, and I thought, well, yeah, it's kind of like um, wood, like colors sort of thing. I just thought it would look good, and it's slightly different but not completely different. Some people did it in the testers group with like heart fabric, anything goes, anything goes. You could tell it's a button. If you don't like these center parts, there's also thread that uh, gets stitched on. Just leave them out. It'd be just cute as a button. Ha! Cute as a button, get oh, it? Ha! <laughs> No, just see it if Monday. see if you're paying attention. It's not just Monday. It is Mug, mug rug, rug Monday. Monday. Everyone say it with me. New hashtag. Mug rug Monday. Monday, Monday, Monday. That's what you're getting at, right? Uh, All right. Yeah. Shush. All right. Back behind the curtain, buddy. <laughs> so I'm going to do it on this fabric. And this is the, the brown that I picked. It's pretty close. I hope it's not too close. And then I'm going to be using this dark brown for like the shadowy parts. So it's awesome. So we have uh, knock wood, knock wood, real wood, not plastic. Uh, we have all cameras working. So, Don, let's go over to Captain Jack, who is my Luminaire 2. And I'm using water soluble stabilizer because this is a satin stitch finish. Um, can we see my nails? No, not yeah. quite in the bright. There we go. A little bit. Yeah. Beautiful. There's my nails. All Valentine's y. Perfect. I, I didn't want to show it on the other one because it was so 
much better blurry <laughs> I know so I have the dark brown in and that'll just help you guys to be able to see it. I have my cheater bobbins ready hopefully I remember to change it um, I may or may not I don't always and bobbin for the bobbin police let's give it a check I think it's pretty good yep it's pretty full it is a pretty full. I think I changed it when I was stitching out my bowl. And we have googly eyes. And we always have googly eyes. This is the IDK, I don't know, hoop. Um, it's a brother magnetic hoop. And I still haven't decided, I guess, if I really like it. I like it for the camera because everything's flat and you guys get a really good view. Um, but I think dime hoops are a lot more usable. Just my opinion. Just my opinion. It's very expensive here in Canada. So, um, and Bjorn, Don Squish Bjorn. Oh, I just about dropped him. He's right here to guard us against the Norwegian evil spirits that get sent our way. Right? We haven't seen the Norsemen lately. I know. Karina's always here, though. Karina, where's the Norseman? Yeah, where's the Norseman? Well, say hi anyways. Okay, hi, <laughs> let's do the first step, which is Lynn. Lynn's shouting it at home, I'm sure. Placement! Yay! All right. And yes, I do know that this hoop is slightly off-center. It's the way it is set up. This is 5 by 7 now. 5 by 7 hoop. It is a delightful size for a mug rug. Awesome. Yeah. Sorry, I said the IDK hoop and I didn't say the size. 7511 needle and just some brown thread and cute fabric. But this is perfect for like the wood fabric. So hmm. Does my machine sound right? Yeah. Does it? Yeah. I'm gonna check the foot. Okay. As soon as it stops. Yeah, you were sewing on it, so maybe make sure it's good and tight. Well, I used my little tool thing. So, yeah, I just, it doesn't sound quite right to me. So I'm just gonna check and make sure that my foot is on. It's, it's on. Yeah, it's not moving. All right. Let's go back to the desk for a trim. A trim, not a haircut. Trim, a trim. Isn't that funny that it's so far off center? It takes me a little while to get used to it. We're so used to hoops being centered. So, yeah, I know. I'm just using warm and natural batting. Nothing too special. Works really, really nicely for... Um, mug rugs and I have lots of pre-cut pieces which is delightful still makes me happy every day so I'm using my uh applique scissors these ones are from Tula Pink because you know Tula Pink that's all I have to say about that something under the hoop yeah she saw something under it something I did too. Oh, maybe stuck on the back? What do we Not think? There now, so. eh. <laughs> All right, sorry to bug ya. <laughs> it's usually Judy Quilt that has the eagle eyes and says, oh, Fluffy's on the hoop, oh no. All right, so we are going to go back to the machine with our fabric. Back to the machine, Don. How is our. What did we decide we were going to call this camera? Oh, you're not, you don't even Face have it. Oh, you want it up? I well, yeah. yeah. That's half the fun, man. So, it's we're going to... face cam. We're going to place our fabric down. There's no room for fabric chicken today. Uh, the way today has gone, no way, man. So, I'm going to place it down, and we're going to stitch it down. And I get to see how good the browns look. And they do look good. Eee! 
Yeah, no, I'm good. I thought maybe it was a bit of applique chicken, but it isn't. So we can see on the face cam here, we're doing the shadow parts. Now, I know these are all one color. How about like this? I know these are all one color, but you can stop at the end of the first one and then we can, um, then you can just skip it. I'll show you guys that in a minute because we have the face cam going on. So, um, awesome. It's going to start with the buttons. Yeah, it looks like it. So we're going to do it right now. So we can't skip ahead a color, but we can skip ahead stitches. So I'll pick 100, 200, and I have no idea what the number is. I'm just, I'm waiting for it to move over here and then I'll put it back at the start. So getting there, last one here. So that's all you have to do to skip it. Just a little bit more. Okay. hundred. That's not the inside. It is. I'm going to go back again. <laughs> it's okay. So we want to go in between there and, oh, if I used my head and looked, I can see where the green is instead of blindly guessing, you're not actually blind. And I want to get it to the point where we go back a little bit more. And I think that's where it starts. There we go. Now it is over on that one. We might get an extra stitch. So I'm going to go ahead one. So a little bit tedious, but you know what? It works. So now we're, we know we're going to be stitching on the right part. I was thinking here that it was going here. So it was my bad. Perfect start connection between the two. So a little bit tedious to fast forward like that, but always look at the, the screen and you can see where the um, green is. I have mine programmed for green so we can see it. It's perfect. Just to show them how to do it because I can. Oh, okay. We don't usually... Sorry, my brain is wondering why. Yeah, well, mine was too when I... I mean, the buttonholes make it a button, but if you don't like it, then don't. So, just a thought. Did you have to update the machine for the magnetic hoop? Nope. Is that why it's off-center? No, my machine is up to date, so I'm actually not really sure why it is off center. We figured to keep the foot far enough away from the hoop edge. I don't know if that's right or not, but there it is. So if you have the ability to skip stitches, um, do it once in a while. If you really want to just skip a part of a design, then you can. I like that dark brown on this. It's wonderful. But yeah, if you leave out the buttonholes, then you don't really know it's a button. But if you're going to use like pretty colors, it doesn't have to be a button. Just an idea, just for something different. Um, awesome. UK peeps had to do a hoop update. They just came here. Um, my machine's up to date. There's no, there's no firmware or update things. I will double check, but I'm pretty sure I saw another video on it a while ago when it was the same thing. So maybe they're just meant to be that way. All right. So right now, these are the highlights in the holes. And because we didn't do the holes, <laughs> we need to skip it so we can skip one whole color, which is fine. 
Now, should I go to the lighter brown color or should I leave the dark? What do you think, Don? Tough call. Yeah, tough call. Ask the chat. Ask the chat. So dark brown, which looks stunning on it, or a little bit lighter. Not beige, but kind of like a medium brown. So medium or dark? Y'all can let me know. Medium or dark? What do you think, Don? Six of one, half dozen of the other? I'm leaning more towards the dark, but... I really like how the dark looks. Karina says bark. <laughs> Great, that is so helpful, Karina. <laughs> dark. She says dark. Dark, 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 dark. Why did you have to change the location? What are you skipping? Oh, I was skipping the buttonholes. For the, fun. The buttonholes right here. Just for fun, just to give the mug rug a different look. And because we have a nice camera going on, that I can. So everyone's saying dark. dark. Oh, Lynn said light. <laughs> just to be and different. Everyone else said dark. So the, um, Sorry, I'm going to use this camera here. This is what I miss. This is the first one, and it has the hearts filled in. And on this one, I stitched out the darker colors. This one is the set that I'm stitching now is the second mug rug. And if you look, it's an outline. So you get both of these with the file. So Ooh, good deal. Yeah. So if you want it you know, more of a carved wood look, then you could do that. So here we go. We left the dark brown in. It's, it's nice. This may not look like a shadow, but I still think it's going to look good. I really actually like this fabric. I just, um, I pulled it out from a layer cake and I went, ooh, very nice. Very nice indeed. So, it's a cute button. I remember seeing buttons like that. Wooden, old-fashioned kind of wooden buttons. Yeah. They're cute. They're very cute. I'm sure you can still buy them, but it's cute. All right. What is going on? Shannon says pink? Question mark. Do it all in dark. See how it looks in one color. Yeah, I mean, that's true. It's a good experiment. Uh, good. The, the brown, even though I didn't change the thread, um, I don't know if you can see it on camera yet, but you will. One part is fill stitch or tatami stitch, and the other is satin stitch. So they are going to look different, which is a really cool trick when you're digitizing, which is awesome. No pink. You can do pink. Absolutely do different shades of pink on pink fabric. Why not? Buttons come in all different colors all the time. So I wouldn't even worry about it. I I do like it. Oh, that's pretty good zoom in, Don. And then you can see the green. The green going on. Don's just uh playing around to get the um, Captain Jack face cam better. Are you getting to be a rebel? Yes. Yes. They are buddies. They are buddies. I think I do like the buttonholes in the middle better. But that's okay. And there's thread tying them together so you know it's a button. But hey, we're all about experimenting. You never know, this might look even more fantastic than, you know, the other way. So, we'll see. I think Shannon is trying to make it to detention. Yeah. Can I go into detention? Yeah, that looks good, Don. It zoomed right in so you can see where it's stitching exactly. 
So now, oh, this is a fantastic moment. It's all so connected nicely that it's just, oh, makes me happy. So we're doing hearts and diamonds. Oh yeah, that dark looks great. Hearts and diamonds. Isn't that cool? For sure. I hope you guys like the good view. I think it's kind of cool. So what you're following along here is this green crosshair. I wonder, there must be a way to make this bigger, the picture bigger. I've never even tried. Oh yeah, the dark looks great. I like it. And the hearts, they look good too. Love it. Love it. Fab view. Sarah just loves it. Yeah, we're working on things. We're working on things. So, uh, if you like this design, head on over to the omlembroidery.com website. Every purchase that you make goes, I roll it right back into the channel and we get, uh, you know, stuff to show you guys. And we recently threw money into a camera, uh, which these cameras, we got two. They're much better, much, much better. So they have nice views, they have nice views and the colors are more true and we're quite happy with them. So it almost looks like a dish. Yeah, it does. You're right. I was trying to place it, but yeah, you're right. A painted dish. Well, then you could use any colors. Huh. So that's amazing. Just skipping one part, Don, changes the whole design. It's pretty. You could even skip the shadow part if you wanted it to be a dish. Like a tea, tea, tea plate. You're the connection queen. Thank you. Yes. All in one. And the hearts that are filled in, they're all connected too. Makes for a better stitching experience, I tell ya. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I love it. I'm so happy. So, okay, look, these are the stitches, um, and we didn't make any buttonholes, so we're going to skip them, so the down arrow for that one. And then we can see our next one is just the circle, and that means we need to put our backing fabric on. Now, I didn't trim out my top fabric, and it's much easier if you do, because then you can see underneath. You're going to be a rebel. Uh, a slight rebel. So face down, because this is the back of your mug rug, and see if I had taken the, um, trimmed this, then you can see right here, you can see the fabric through. Well, we don't. What? We don't see. You don't see it? No, it's off camera. Oh. Well, that's kind of your job there, dude. Well, I'll have to switch cameras if you're going to there. So you can see through? Yep. So it is convenient if you, you know, trim when you're supposed to trim. So fabric, back fabric, face down, nice and flat. Uh, you can tape it if you want to. I find this works for me. I just find it uh, easier to do. It just tucks underneath and it stays right there. I used to do that on my um, McDreamy, too. So now we're going to trim. So we're going to require going back to the desk, Don. And the first thing I'm going to do is check. And yes, I always check the back to make sure nothing, you know, is folded in like that. Because now's the time it would be much easier to unpick it rather than when you have your satin stitches going on, you're kind of done. So very carefully, 
and not pushing down on the hoop at all because you don't want the water soluble stabilizer to move we're going to trim this out isn't this fabric gorgeous oh i decided to put the wood on the back because i think it's going to look good i love this fabric oh mm, that's one of the problems with super magnetic hoops like this is the my scissors stick to it oh, yeah. yeah i just i don't use it enough to oh, yeah. to you know get used to it i suppose right so now we're on the front what do you think don i, like I think that makes a whole new different mug rug from a button to a plate yeah kind of i love the fabric a tough call so I'm gonna trim this up and I've been kind of conservative with the fabric how about we move this fabric there we go it doesn't have to be perfect you guys know that just uh, always take your time to trim take it off the machine uh, you can get a much better trim when it's on the table and see I'm moving the hoop every time it may seem like a hassle but it's way better to do it that way the better your applique trimming is the better your final design will be so it's just practice now I'm gonna be super sue today and these I call them my cheater bobbins they're not really at all <laughs> but we want to match our bobbin to the uh top thread so i got this off of um amazon and it was something like eleven dollars or something and it's just kind of handy it's not um it's not a huge deal so let's go to the machine don and i'm just going to change the bobbin so i'm going to take my white one out and i'm going to place it in the bobbin graveyard but only temporarily so we're going to revive that bobbin and there we go good enough so all we have left are the satin stitches on the outside now my top and bottom match and this is going to look really good so let's stitch our satin stitches a little sticky there, that's okay. Oh, there's a fluff. Sorry, Judy Quilt. Nice zigzag stitches, which I love and holds everything down. I know what the sound difference is. It's the hoop. Oh. Yeah. yeah. It gets a little bit sticky when the magnets go over the needle plate. And I'm not used to that sound. I'm very sensitive to my machine. Anything different, I'm like, hey. So zigzag stitches helps everything stay down. I love it. Now we're going to do the satin stitches. And you know, I think it does look like a plate. I kind of like it without the button parts. I, I do like it with the button parts. Um, People did different colors and kind of experimented with it. They turned out really well. I love it. I love the fabric. So it's not wood fabric on this one, but it's, you know, the earthy kind of colors. I was thinking like a, kind of like an uh, olive drab green would look nice too, with different shades of green on it or uh, blue. Anything goes with this. Anything goes. So we got a nice view, Don. The mm -hmm. colors look amazing. I just love. I just love. <laughs> Everyone's like, woo, matching Bob. And yeah, don't get used to it, man. Don't get used to it. So that noise is the hoop. So I don't really like it, but I know what's happening, so it's okay. I'm not getting my reminder notice. Eh, that's annoying. That's very annoying. YouTube is changing everything all the time. And it's like, 
can you stop? Please. All right, keep going, machine. There we go. Getting out of the danger zone there. Awesome. Sue, explain what the center motif is, please. The center motif... Well, I skipped some of the stuff. Do we have the... Yeah. So, it's this is a wooden button. This is the idea of it, and that's why I did it with a wood background. It's a little bit hard to see because I used dark fabric. I did a wood background, and the idea is that it's an old-fashioned wooden button where they carve out the design. So here in the center is the buttonholes, and then there's thread to go across it. And it's a thicker button, and that's why it looks like this with feet. 3D and this is like the shadow to give it a bit of depth and what I did on the one that I'm doing is I just skipped all the center bits just to see how it would look and also you get two files so you get one with the hearts filled in and every other heart is a different color so it, you know pink blue pink blue pink blue um, these are different colors but they're only like one shade apart so it doesn't really show and this is the first one the second one just has the design without the hearts filled in and you get both of them Sharon says the wooden button. yeah an old-fashioned wooden button where they used to you know basically carve out the designs mm -hmm. so cute you, them, you don't see them often you don't see them often but yeah so we want I just wanted to do an experiment Oh my god, I love the googly eyes on the hoop. <laughs> All my hoops have googly eyes, pretty much. Uh, these are better googly eyes because they're bigger. You're hiding the googly eyes, Don. On what? The oh. hoop. I'm sorry, his face is googly eyes. Yeah, okay, yeah. There's still googly eyes in there. <laughs> this guy has googly eyes. I mean, I can't have a... Um, a machine that you name and it doesn't have googly eyes on it. I mean, seriously. What's that? Yeah, they wiggle because they're bigger than the other ones. I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Yeah, it's just for fun. Some of the silly things that I do, you know. Audre says, it's 9.30 in the evening here in Scotland. Oh, Scotland. My family is from Scotland. I never got to visit, though, when I lived in England. I wish I did, but yeah. Could you do one filled heart, the next one design only, and then alternate? You could, yes, because of the way I set it up. So the first filled in hearts, all of them, or every other one, happy music, is one color. And then the second one is another color. So you could just skip one. And then the outline. Just stitch the outline back to the dust on. So that turned out really well. Oh, the back is beautiful with the matching. I should do that more often. <laughs> the matching ball pen. Mm -hmm, but... Good. Isn't that cute? Isn't that cute without anything? So this is the one that's filled. So yes, if you wanted to do that, uh, that would be easy to do. So like I said, the all of the outlines on the filled ones are one color. And I know it's hard to see, but each heart, so this one stitches, this one stitches, every other one is one color and then the other ones are another color so just skip one of them and stitch the outline and you'd have one filled one not filled one filled one not filled it's good um it, it's good to experiment a little bit like this i really like this uh, i think it's the fabric it kind of reminds me of like a country kitchen or something but I also really love the wood fabric. So you get both of these in the file and it's a lot of fun and super easy to stitch out. And as Karina says, I'm the connection master. 
of uh, connecting files. It's awesome. So you can play around with colors. You can, you don't have to make it wood. I happen to really, it's not often we use brown, so it's kind of nice. And uh, it, it's a lot of fun to stitch out. So skip parts, don't skip parts, but have fun stitching out your mug rug for sure. So thanks everyone for watching. I hope you guys like this video. Please like this video. <laughs> thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye everyone.